The war in the Ukraine has led to the question of how to utilize drones on the battlefield, and at the same time, how to protect troops, important facilities, and civilians from drone attacks has become a challenge. One Taiwanese startup company seems to have found the answer. We are pleased to present the technology of this Taiwanese company, Tron Future Tech, which has developed a drone interceptor system that has caught the attention of countries around the world. Hi. Hi, hello. hello. Uh, uh, welcome, Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Toshima. Thank you. It's been a while to yeah. see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for, for you know, inviting us to you know, your headquarters. Uh, it's really nice to have you here and yeah. to show you our products. Yeah. Thank you very much. So actually, you graduated from Caltech, California yes. Institute of Technology. Uh, yes, correct. I, I graduated oh. about uh, uh, 15 years ago and yeah. came back to Taiwan, be a professor for 10 years, and then I started oh. my so down from Future Tech. Could you just explain what is your technology is all about? Yes, yeah, so there are several technologies, but the, yeah. the one that we are showing uh, currently to the Japanese market is the, this uh, drone uh, detection radar, which yeah. we call it uh, T-Radar Pro. So uh, this is a, a very small radar, and yeah. it, can, it can be, uh, it can be uh, opening up yeah. like this. So as you can see, that it can, it, it can uh, be easily uh, transported when it's been um, stored. And it, when it open now, we can start uh, running the system in uh, five, to, five to 10 minutes. And uh, this, is, this radar is uh, designed to detect a small, uh, a small like a co commercial type of UA, uh, uh, UAV. And this UAV has been a, a very serious problem in the many, many uh, places in the world. So, so that uh, is, is especially if you see that the Ukraine war, that a lot of uh, uh, like the, the Ro both Russian and the Ukrainian they are using this uh, the very commercial UAE, uh, UAV to as a weapon, which is not uh, haven't been seen ten years ago. So this type of system is really good to uh, to detect those uh, smaller uh, smaller commercial drones, and in a in a, in a reasonable price and also very easy to use. Yes. How cost effective this radio system is oh, so when you compare to the older Yeah, version? so the, the older uh, radar system that can detect the drone typically will start at, uh, I would say, like uh, 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 300,000 to uh, 1 million uh, US dollar. dollar, US US dollar. Yeah. But our system starts with uh, 30,000 to, let's say, 120,000 uh, US dollar, which is considered much more affordable for this, yeah. this, this, this issues. Yeah. How you know you can detect the small drones? Yes. The drone is so many sizes, you know, types. Yes. How small you can in you know, a minimum size is? Yeah. The, the the smaller size we are uh, typically we detect was uh, like the the DJI uh, Maverick, which is about oh. uh, is about this, this like about hand size. Yes, like a hand size. Hand size. Yes, and uh, uh, like uh, so he, roughly this is the small the smallest uh, a drone we can detect and we can detect over like uh, uh, depending on uh, the uh, configuration, but we can uh, 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 set up we can detect up to five kilometers. Five kilometers. Yes, five kilometers with uh, uh, within uh, 120 20 degree, degree uh, range. Uh, detection range. Yes. So, so you need three radars when you want to co cover up the 360. Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Yes. I see. How, how? What is? The, what about the height? Uh, to the sky? Yeah. Uh, uh, typically, that uh, uh, we don't have uh, put a limitation on on the height, but we can detect at least a hundred. Uh, sorry, a, a thousand uh, meter. Uh, a thousand meter. Uh, yes, correct. Roughly thousand meter. A, a thousand yes. to two thousand. Yes, okay. that kind of. How many drones this ma one machine can detect? Uh, 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 so this, this uh, drone is, this, uh, is can detect at least 100, but we haven't test higher than 100, but it can detect at least 100. Yes. All of 100 drones. Yeah, 100 small drones, yes. 100 drones. Yeah, simultaneously, yes. Really. So actually, uh, the Taiwanese armed forces had a difficulty in difficult detecting drones. Yes. Uh, last year, actually, they could do nothing when the Chinese drone coming from to China. Yes, when it, uh, yes. You know, what, what, what happened and what is the problem? Okay, uh, we uh, so there's some news about the, the the Chinese drone. Initially, they do not have any system over there, but uh, uh, they are working on that, and we are working with them as well. But I'm not allowed to talk too much, so so I hope you understand. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. So, but uh, I've heard that this your drone system is in Kimo Island. It's for the test. Yeah, that details. was total. I cannot talk. You, okay, I you cannot talk details. Talk. Yes, thank you. It's confidential. It's confidential. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and, but in the future, yes. Uh, uh, now, at, oh, sorry. At this point of time, yes. You have a contract with Taiwan Armed Forces. Uh, we are working on the contract. Contract. And uh, uh, they have some plan. Okay. And uh, but that's also under 
Confidential. Uh, confidential. So okay. I'm not allowed to talk okay. in public. Yes. Okay. The, now the contract is go underway, but you cannot talk about the details. Yes, it's underway, but I, I cannot. No. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, we cannot talk the details. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. And also, could you explain about this? How, this is very portable. Yes, very how, portable. What is so? What is a, what about the weight? Of this? Okay, the weight is uh, one uh, fifteen kilogram. So it's uh, with the box, it can be carried by. A, a, a person. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, as you, as I mentioned, that it's very, once it's uh, it's uh, folded, yeah. you can just uh, put it in a s small luggage like this. Oh, I see. So I see. it's and this this luggage was just so it is just a standard uh, like a checking, uh, luggage. A checking luggage. So it's very easy. You can put it uh, as, as uh, just a regular uh, small car and you can qu quickly yeah, uh, yeah. shift it. So the, the, there is no uh, problem of the transportation. Oh, and it's very also easy, very very easy to use. That uh, we do not need uh, uh, we do not need a long time training. So it's just the, the any user can just uh, um, after probably thirty to min, uh, one hour training, he can he will know how to operate the system. Oh, so that's also very important. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Before Tron Future, yes, there's no system like this. Is that correct? Uh, there's no. Well, there are some system that that can detect drone, but it's much. Bigger, bigger, much uh, 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 expensive. Both, mu yes, much more expensive, and also more bulky. And we are the only system in the, this in, right now in the world that is very lightweight and also much uh, lo uh, affordable. I see. Who is interested? I guess in DSEI to Chiba. Yeah. And so many, you know, governments and the private companies coming to your exhibition. Uh, yes, correct. Who are interested? In uh, so we uh, so post uh, we, we we of course the DSEI Japan was uh, was a defense show so we, of course we got uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, self defense force they uh, many uh, um, uh, like like uh, many se segment they, they they come to our booth and we try to explain our system and also we, we see a lot of visitors from the uh, private sector as well so they are interested in like like power plane like the some security company they are interested in our our system. But we also, uh, uh, so we, after the show, we try to figure out how we can we work with them so we can, um, we can like uh, uh, apply the system to, uh, to fit into Japanese, uh, to Japan market, yes. Oh, I see. To activate the radar, so you detect it. Yes. And what's going to happen after the detection? Uh, once we, or we see the, uh, the, the drum, we have to, uh, take, we have to like, uh, take care of the, the drum to bring it down. So yeah. there are two ways, one is uh, soft, which use a jammer, we, uh, we don't have it uh, right now, but uh, we use a jammer to jam it. But uh, for like a uh, hostile drone, typically we are most uh, care, uh, worry about host hostile drone. Yeah. Then uh, we have to launch an, another drone, which yeah. is called interceptor. So this is like an interceptor. So it's basically um, uh, 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 another drone. And uh, this, oh, sorry, this is an older prototype. Mm -hmm. We, we design very yeah, different yeah. version. This is just one of the version. We currently we have this. And uh, so this uh, this guys will this T radar will will as in exercise will tell this this interceptor and yeah. this type will, will fly um, to uh, to the location yeah. uh, of the, uh, b the location of the invading drone. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see from the smaller model, the point was that uh, the in the very uh, front of yeah, the, yeah. this 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 uh, this interceptor there was a smaller uh, uh, radar seeker, and this seeker will. Um, we'll uh, we'll do the what we call the final approach to do the uh, to do the. Uh, there will be several ways. We can either launch a yeah. net. We, we could, uh, some customer they will launch a bullet, and uh, and uh, or we can directly hit it. So there are several possible uh, use scenario, and that can be configured by different uh, uh, different customer and to fit in uh, to deal with a different scenario. Oh, I see. I see. What kind of radar are you using when you say radar? So. Uh, all, all this radar from for the T radar and also the radar we put it in the interceptor. They are uh, uh, they are called ASA radar. So, so there was a bigger version used uh, in uh, F thirty five in in like the the, the, the Aegis system you you mentioned in the level in the naval uh, frigate. frigate. But uh, we uh, in future we try to use using the similar working principle. But uh, we try to use uh, semiconductor and to make it smaller, smaller. And, and so that can fit into like a much smaller package. Okay, okay. Taiwan has a, such a tech island, you know. Yes. The TSMC is there, yes. ASUS is here. Yes. That you know ecosystem. Yes. That society. Yes. That you know that is why the Tron Future Tech can you know materialize those you know technologies into this system. Right. Yes, semiconductor this is, is, is very important, yeah. and uh, it's uh, it enable, enable us to make very complex 
uh, products like radars into uh, a much smaller uh, size and yeah. also uh, also really without sacrifice so the performance. Oh, I see, I see. Could you tell us what how your system works? So basically, uh, the once the radar st uh, start to run in, then uh, we can set a uh, uh, we can uh, we, we can set a. Uh, the surveillance area and uh, this is uh, about five kilometers. Five, this is about five five, five kilometers, five and the, the the gray areas was the uh, air, the area that is alarmed. Uh -huh. You can do the uh, keep track of a lot of uh, target, and the, the, those uh, target were also stored in a in a, in a database. So that if uh, they the supervisor want to see what happened one hour ago or what happened at particular events, then you can uh, we can replay the events again. Mm. There was a button for. Launch interceptor, mm -hmm. so we can hit it, and it, the interceptor will go to hit this target. Ah, so it's very easy to use. Mm, yeah. Just you know, open up that you know this display. Oh, what's this? And close it, and detect it. And then and there, and will there was data. a and there will be a button. Button. Uh, and I, attack, uh, attack or kill. Attack, kill. Or. You can use the soft kill. Yeah. And then uh, then uh, soft kill typically is not as dangerous as the hard kill. So yeah. we so we can that can be completely automatic. Mm. So. But if you want to jam this drone, yes. maybe that you know other aircrafts, you know legal aircrafts also jammed. Is there any risk that? Uh, is we the, uh, our system is uh, already called, is uh, also ASA type of a jammer, yeah. so that we only jam ten degree, oh, ten degree, ten degree, ten, ten degree. So, ten degree. Yes, oh, really? Ten, yes. Precise, you know, targeting, targeting jamming. Uh, target jamming, target, yeah, target, to that direction. Ten degree. Uh, also, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, the in the sky, and but. There's so many aircrafts and you know UAVs and, and airborne. Yes. How are you going to distinguish the drones and a legal, illegal drone or uh, you know the commercial aircraft thing? You know? So uh, so if it's just a, a legal drone as well, and the commercial the aircraft, we can determine by the size, size. seen by the radar is called the RCS mm -hmm. radar cross section. Section. And we can use the uh, there was a small screen. Uh, mm -hmm. You can type in the, the size, size you want to measure, and that will help the customer to. Set it, and of course they can set it. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 and the sp what was the data? Speed and the size? speed and the three D three D three D location. Oh, three D location. Uh, speed and three D location, and as well as the uh, estimate size for size. the for the uh, measured by the radar. Ah, I see, I see. So you give a you give a guess of what is what is what is, what is, uh, what is the target? Yes. Okay. これであの高度ですとかそのドローンがどこにいるかの位置がすべてこの情報でわかると。しかもそのドローン you can know the size. We can know the size. We can know the size. 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 Yeah. このその飛行物体のサイズですとか速さスピード、まあどの高さを飛んでいるかもすぐわかるんだそうです。で、それを分かったら、これを押すともうすぐに撃墜できるような状況になるということなんです。非常にあの簡単なシステムだということですね。So this machine was in operational in Taiwan. Yes, in operational in, in Taiwan.、Yes. Some private company bought it、uh, and using it.、Uh, some private and a, and, a, and a public sector. Public sector, uh, uh, like、uh, airport control thing. Uh, it, uh, it, Uh, that, that, yeah, I cannot <laughs> say, but say. We, we, yeah, we, there were several、uh, systems currently running in Taiwan, and they are、uh, planning to、uh, make it、uh, larger scales.、Uh, it's already used in Taiwan. In Taiwan in and Taiwan. In, in, in some other country as well. Oh, really? Yes, correct.、Oh. For example, kind of airfield or you know, kind of airports.、Uh, are yeah, kind of、uh, airport. Yes, airport kind of scenario. Yes, nice, correct. Nice, yes. Nice, nice. Can you name the country using your system? Uh, it's uh, the country was uh, uh, the the country、uh, Jordan. Yes. Jordan. Yes. Ah,、oh, royal royal kingdom of Jordan. A、uh, kingdom of Jordan. Jordan. Yes. Ah,、oh, yes. in the Middle East. They are our first、uh, Middle East customer. Oh, really? Yes.、Oh, okay. And some other I cannot talk. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah, but this one is okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe police authority needs this system, I guess, and then maybe the security guys, you know, secret service guys, you know. Yes, this is a <laughs> this special is problem for the world, and so yeah, we just provide in the solution,、yeah. a suitable solution. Yeah, how to protect the VIP? Yes. Maybe、yeah. the president of Taiwan might be in the future protected by this system. Is that possible? Uh, 
Yes, oh, already yes. I, I cannot comment. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. They have several systems in using, yes, system, yeah. System. And, and of course, the, the, the president is the highest level, so mm -hmm. they also have several systems system. using. Uh, uh, the war in Ukraine started, and actually the world's needs, they realized the importance of detecting drones. Yes. Now your time has come. Yes. Right. And last year was, a, I think, was a turning point for the world because it's the first time people, uh, the world start to see, start to realize that drone yeah. is a really a security threat for a lot of the nations. So yeah. that is when we got also got a lot of re, uh, final the market the request. The geopolitical tension is yes. going to match, you know, you know, much higher, right? Yes. Uh, from your personal point of view, yes. How do you see the you know, current situation, you know? in Taiwan Strait? Uh, so, um, I, I don't think I can speak on behalf of the government yeah, or on behalf yeah, of yeah, all yeah, as a Taiwanese people. Yeah. But as a citizen, I think what I can do is that I, pre I, I, would like, I am just uh, uh, prepare my nation, uh, preparing Taiwan, using my own expertise yeah, to so, defense. Uh, defense. To, to so that uh, we have something, we, 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 we are uh, prepared to uh, potentially Serious situation, and but hopefully that won't happen. But we, I know. But what we have doing is just prepare, and get prepared so that it won't. Hopefully, it won't happen. Mm. Yeah. Could you tell us what's your hope in the future? The relationship and between Taiwan and China has to be. What, well, what kind okay. of future do you wish in the future? Um, it's a so you ask me a very complicated uh, and very difficult. Uh, 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 Question and I think for uh, different uh, civilian, in even Taiwanese, they, uh, different people have a different uh, uh, answer. And uh, uh, but it personally, I hope I, I hope that uh, this not only Taiwan but also that this area, including Japan, including China, including Philippines, including U.S. in the from the from the east, um, it's, it's everyone is, uh, can uh, live. Peacefully and uh, prosperly. That's my, my as 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 my as a citizen. That's my hope. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. To maintain this current situation. To maintain this uh, current situation, so so everyone can live a very good life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This kind of status quo is the best answer. Uh, yes, yes. That's per my personality thinking. Yes. I see. Defense authorities in several countries, including United Kingdom and the United States, seem to be seeking to procure equipment from smaller companies, including startups like Disputron Future Tech, especially in the area of advanced technology. This is because some of the unmanned weapons, such as the switchblade used in the Ukrainian war, were not developed by traditional large defense companies. Since the beginning of the war in Ukraine, there may be some changes in the relationship of the defense authority and the defense industry, which has been centered on the large corporations.